Hi students, Namaskaram. Now we are discussing a practical problem in the chapter Computation of Business Income. The question, we are given the profit and loss account of A Limited, debit side, credit side, in debit side, cost of goods sold, office expenses, salary, income tax, charity, provision for bad debt, credit, sales, rent of staff cottage, rent of company guest home, rent of building let out, profit and loss account continues, service charges, group insurance premium, advertisement, general expenses, municipal tax paid, net profit. In the credit side, there is one more item, income tax refund. And we are also given adjustments. This is the question and now we are entering into its solution. We are required to compute gross total income. We shall analyze the profit and loss account and adjustments. First item, cost of goods sold. It is a normal business expenditure. Office expenses, normal business expenditure. Then salary, normal business expenditure. Income tax, this is an inadmissible item. The amount of income tax should not be debited in the PL account. Here, the income tax is an inadmissible item and it is debited in the PL account. Therefore, we have to cancel it by adding with the net profit. Net profit in the code add to the code, income tax cancel chain. Next, charity. It is an inadmissible item. It should not be debited in the PL account. Therefore, it is to be cancelled by adding with the net profit. Provision for bad debt. As per income tax rules, there is no deduction allowed in respect of provision. This is an inadmissible expense and it is to be cancelled by adding with the net profit. Service charge including GST. This service charge paid by the company in respect of services obtained is an admissible deduction. It can be debited in the PL account and it is already debited in the PL account. Company ke lebi chitrola services nwendi. Company adacha service charges including GST. Adha business expenditure ana debited chayyanam debit chayyadutundi. There is no further adjustments. Group insurance premium. It is a business expense. This group insurance premium relates to employee salary. This is a business expenditure. Advertisement is a business expenditure. General expenses is a business expenditure. Municipal tax paid for let out to building. Therefore, it is relates to income from house property and not business expenditure. It is an inadmissible expense therefore it is to be add back. We are given net profit 1,12,000 then credit side. Sales is a business income. Rent of staff cottage. Rent of staff cottage and a rent of companies guest house. These are business income. Not income for house property. Rent of staff cottage, rent of company's guest home, he rent on business income. Anna. Income from house property Allah. Therefore, there is no need of adjustment. Then, rent of building let out is an income from house property, not a business income. Therefore, it is to be cancelled by deducting from net profit. Net profit in the Kurachu Gunda, e credit to cancel chain. Rent of building let out 60,000. Income tax refund. We know income tax is an inadmissible item. An expenditure which was disallowed earlier but now recovered, it is not taxable as a business income. Mun Vashangal, deduction kitata or item, Tirichi to the Anagle. Other taxable. Income tax. Muni Vashangalil, deduction kitata expenditure. Ah, income tax is the richer kitum board, Nikitia Kendadilla, credit chain to the la. Therefore, it is to be cancelled by deducting from net profit. 
we are going to adjustments on the scrutiny of accounts it was found that the general expenses include rupees 25000 being cost of furniture purchased on 1st april 2020 we had debited general expenses and that general expenses include rupees 25000 in respect of cost of furniture purchased furniture purchased is a capital expenditure the capital expenditure should not be debited in the pnl account therefore it is to be cancelled by adding with the net profit this capital expenditure of furniture purchased is already debited in the pnl account in the general expense therefore this capital expenditure that is furniture purchased is to be cancelled by adding with the net profit and this capital expenditure furniture is eligible for depreciation at 10% therefore at the time of deductions we have to deduct depreciation at 10% from net profit net profit il nom furniture inde 10% depreciation aite deduction kittanam less cheyanam okay first furniture rupees 25000 is to be add back in full second 10% of furniture purchased that is 2500 is to be deducted by way of depreciation okay rupees 11000 entertainment expenses paid in cash on 31st march 2021 we know any payments in excess of rupees 10000 must be made either through grocery check or demand draft otherwise it is fully disallowed പതിനായിരം രൂപയ്ക്ക് മേലെയുള്ള എല്ലാ പേയ്മെന്റുകളും ക്രോസർ ചെക്കോ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഡ്രാഫ്റ്റോ ആയിട്ടാണ് കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് ഇവിടെ ഇലവൻ തൗസൻഡ് കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ക്യാഷ് ആയിട്ടാണ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫുള്ളി ഡിസലോഡ് ദിഫോർ ദിസ് ഇലവൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഇസ് ടു ബി ആഡ് വിത്ത് നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഈ പതിനൊന്നായിരം രൂപ നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഇവിടെ ആഡ് ചെയ്യണം ദെൻ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ബോർഡ് ടു കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ദി ലെറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഡ്യൂ ബട്ട് നോട്ട് പേ ടു നയൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ ലോൺ ഓൺ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ബോർഡ് for the construction of let out building vaadeke kodutha kettida paniyan vendi loan eduthirikkunu aa loan de palisha idu profit loss account il debit cheyittunde included in the general expenses therefore it is to be add back rupees 9000 interest not related to business income therefore it is to be add back and it is to be considered while computing income from house property then income tax include rupees 4000 for the year 2019 20 anyway we cancelled the full amount of income tax profit and loss account il debit side ulla income tax muluvanayittu nammal cancel cheyittund add cheyittund adil 4000 rupees 2019 20 il thiyana namukku idu cancel cheyanda karyilla adu muluvanayittu nam add cheyittund these are the various adjustments and the answer net profit as per pnl account 112000 add inadmissible expenses debited in the pnl account income tax 12000 charity 4000 provision for bad debt 1000 municipal tax 4000 furniture 25000 interest on loan 9000 payment in cash 11000 total 66000 we get grand total 178000 less rent from house property 60000 depreciation 2500 income tax refund 20000 we get 95500 it is the taxable business income 95500 then compute income from house property first gross annual value a expected rental value for computing expected rental value we are given a clue a hint municipal tax paid rupees 4000 being 5% of municipal value therefore we can compute the municipal value on the basis of municipal tax paid municipal tax paid be rupees 4000 it is 5% of municipal value therefore municipal value is equal to 4000 divided by 5 into 100 that is rupees 80000 municipal value is rupees 80000 expected rental value rupees 80000 b close actual rent we are given 
rent of building let on 60,000. 60,000. A or B, which one is higher? 80,000 is the gross annual value. From gross annual value, deduct municipal tax paid rupees 4,000. We get net annual value 76,000. From net annual value, there are various deductions under section 24. First, 30% of net annual value for repairs and collection charges. 76,000 into 30%. 22,800. Next, interest on loan. We are given it is rupees 9,000. 22,800 plus 9,000. 31,800. Direct it. We get 44,200. It is the income from house property. 44,200. Then compute gross total income. Income from house property. 44,200. Business income. 95,500. And our answer gross total income being 1,39,700. So thank you.